All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the object selection tool. So if I right click on that, you can see there's a couple other tools in here, the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool. But if we hover over this, the object selection tool finds and automatically selects an object inside a defined region. So if I grab this tool and I go like this, In theory, it should select the object. It did not. And the reason why it didn't, let's see if you're paying attention, is I don't have this layer selected. So now let's try it again and see if it works. And there you go. So this basically is the magnetic lasso tool, the polygonal lasso tool, and the lasso tool all combined into one where you just highlight the object and it selects everything. But you can see here, that it didn't grab all of my hair. <laughs> so, if we were to hit Control C, and then create a new layer, and then hit Control V, okay, and then paste my Photoshop face in there, okay, you can see there's still some white space in there, but this basically did everything we've just been doing in 10 seconds. We just used the selection tool, highlighted it, bam, there it is, okay? So that's pretty cool. And what I'll do is I'll put the background here. Let's add a background here. So let's add layer four. We'll make this black so you can really see what we did here. And this was just with the uh, object selection tool, um, what it did on its own. Um, we just selected my entire, my head and my frame here, and it just grabbed it all because we had nothing behind it, just a white background. So that is the object selection tool. Now the other tools I wanna to talk about is we have the quick selection tool and then the magic wand tool, okay? So the quick selection tool is a really cool, well, it, it got out of control, but here, let me turn the, the uh, background off, hit Control D to deselect, and let's zoom in a little bit on my hair and now if we grab the quick selection tool what we can do is we can kind of select my whole face here okay, let me zoom out a little bit it's it's a sensitive tool so what you got to do is you got to kind of just do it slowly yes I'm rushing it too much there we go it's a very this one is a little more sensitive than the other ones. And you can always come back and kind of tweak it a little more. But basically this is the same idea as the other one. It's just not as simple to use and it, it's more of a shorter strokes than longer strokes. So if I try it one more time here, let me just do the part of my hair. Okay, then I'll go up here a little bit, okay. And then we'll go down and let's just go to the edge of my forehead as much as we can. See, and I cut it off. So let me undo that. And I'll just, let's just grab a little bit here because it's fighting with me. Okay, so we'll just do that right there and then I'll make a new layer. And I will paint this black. And we'll put it on top right there. And then we'll fade it back to give me a different color up here for that one uh, right there. Okay, and then when I zoom out, it's a little more tinted. Okay, so that's, I'm going to delete that, but that's basically what the quick selection tool is. Now the magic wand tool is a great tool that I used all the time before they started making all these other cool tools. So, and, and this is still a great tool to use. If you want to edit my shirt, this is the tool for that. Because what you can do is you can select all of it. Okay. And let's say that we just want to select it. And if I hold shift, I can select my entire shirt here. Because there's no background. So, um, when it's looking at the tolerance, we're at 32%. So, it's looking for similar colors outside of this color of blue and it's not finding it. You see how the red 
is selected around it because it's not the same color as blue. So if I go to adjustments and I do brightness and contrast and we turn that down and then we turn up the contrast. Okay, we change the color. Now if we do adjustments and we do color balance, okay, I can change it again. And we can change it more to the, let's get a little more to the green side here. Okay, so now I change the color of it to red and then we can go to more of a scion, right? So I'll hit okay and then we can do image and adjustments and we can do uh, human saturation is what I normally do. Um, that will really turn it up or turn it down. Let's colorize it. And then turn it up. And then turn up, turn up the hue. And then the lightness. And so now it went from a black to like a red. Now it doesn't keep the texture because of that effect. But we'll cancel that. Um, when I did the other... Um, edits here with the adjustments, then it worked. We can also do photo filter, you know, which will change it a little bit, and then you can use that, or you can do a color, and we can do the density, okay? So it changes it a little bit, but again, this, the magic wand tool is really for that, like if you want to select certain things, and then let's say that you want to change the color of my beard. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but if we hold shift and we select, let's just do my eyebrows. Let's do kind of, I'll tell you what, let's do my hair. And if we hold alt, you can deselect. Okay. So if we, if we turn the tolerance down to 10, what that's going to do is it's going to select less colors. All right. So if I hold shift, then what I can do is I can go in here and I can select my hair. Okay, because I want I really want purple hair. So we're gonna go in here and we'll go all the way down there. And if you just hold it, you're gonna have to click each time. But again, this is a really fun tool. Okay, so now that we have my hair selected right there, let's also do my eyebrows as much as we can. And hit Alt to undo that. There we go. And then I'll hold Shift to do this eyebrow as much as I can. Then we'll do my beard as much as we can. Let's see here. Try not to have too much fun with this making my beard purple, okay? <laughs> no, I want you to have fun. So make sure you send me some of these pictures too. I want to see what you did. All right, so let's do image and let's do adjustments and let's do hue and saturation and let's see how crazy this gets. So I'm going to do colorize. And there you go. So I, I got red hair right now, but we're going to do purple because purple is ridiculous. There we go. Okay, there you go. So now it didn't work all the way, but you can see how cool that looks because it basically it just changes the color but doesn't change the texture of of the image so now i have purple hair so what's cool about this is now you can go in and you can watch this video again and you can photoshop my hair to red green blue purple yellow orange whatever colors you want and that's how you do it you just use the um magic wand tool here, select my eyebrow, go up to image and do adjustments and mess with the hue and saturation. And that will get you what you want. And that will keep it to where you keep the texture and you can tell that it's your beard and it looks legit. It doesn't look fake at all, especially out here. Like if you're looking at it, okay, good. Granted down here, we didn't get all of it, but again, we're just practicing. That's where you could use the magnetic lasso tool. If you really wanted to and you could go in here and you could go like this and go up and around and select everything and it's going to take more effort because you got to go through everything right to grab it which is fine if you want to do that that's cool but again what that does is 
that gives you a project to do because I'm actually going to add this to the profile picture project. I was just going to do like a, I'm going to do this for that project. So we'll, we'll have more fun with this when we do the project, but we're going to get way more in depth than this. We're going to change everything. You're going to hardly recognize me when we're done. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's go to the scroll up here on the history and click on the magic wand. Now you can see here, we can't, I don't know if I can go any further. Let me just see how far up I can go. Yeah, I can't go any further than that. But if I click on the profiles dash picture, it takes me back to the original picture. So I'm going to hit control S. So that is the object selection tool. That is the magic wand tool, which I love. And then the quick selection tool. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.